how's it going guys welcome back to the channel so it's been a while so i haven't been out in the woods for uh, for a night for i don't know a few weeks now at least maybe a month or so actually so spring is finally here although it doesn't feel much like it here today uh it's plus one degree celsius when i was driving out here and we got some light snow flurries off and on but yeah i've been itching to get out for a night uh so i'm out for the weekend now with the two dogs molly and goose and we're just gonna hike into the woods uh like i said spend two nights out here so uh the plan is to do uh just a bit of a a bushcraft style camp so i'm gonna do a bit of hiking uh find a spot to set up for the night and uh, yeah should be a good weekend so stay tuned All right, well, I'm on this old uh, old snowmobile trail here, and uh, this gets used quite a bit in the winter time, but this time of year doesn't get used hardly at all because it's a bit of a, a tough spot this time of year. It's super wet and boggy, as you can probably tell. So I doubt I'm gonna see anybody else in here this time of year. Ow. Yeah, I'm going to uh, keep going a little further and uh, then I'm going to try and, uh, and branch off, get up a little higher off to the side of the trail here. Oh, oh, almost went over my boot. But yeah, I'm going to try and, uh, and get off the side of the trail and get up in some of this, uh, in this spruce forest here and it should be should be a lot drier and a nicer spot to uh, camp out for the night. Molly's loving it. She loves the mud.
So I just found uh, all the boughs, spruce boughs that I had uh, back when I camped here in the winter. So these will come in handy. I'll throw these down. Give me a little bit of uh, insulation off the moss. The moss is still pretty wet here. And uh, yeah, I'll throw these spruce boughs down. And then uh, I have this reflective uh, blanket that I'll put on top of the boughs. And I'll put my air mattresses and my sleeping bag on top of that. So, should be good. are all set up in here so I got my sleeping bag set up got my wool blanket here for the dogs and I got my big winter jacket so I can throw that over one of the dogs as well if it gets cold tonight so I think it's supposed to get down to around minus two minus three degrees so not too bad but it is gonna be chilly but this should be fine I'm gonna get a fire going out in front of the tarp here now and uh, Work on getting some more firewood over the next hour or so, and then we'll get some food going. Ew, stop stealing the firewood, bud. Dogs are chasing a squirrel. Just drove it up in the tree. Go get him, Molly. Go get him. Well, not really in the mood to mess around with the ferro rod, so a little bic lighter. Never leave home without one. Well, I'm just having a coffee, so I'm gonna get some supper going here soon. It's almost 7 p.m. But yeah, thanks for joining me, guys. So, like I said earlier, uh, it's been a while, so haven't done a video in about a month. Haven't even been out in the woods at all, really, in about a month, to be honest. So, uh, just been busy with, uh, with other things in life. And uh, we've kind of been in between seasons really here in Newfoundland, or in central Newfoundland, anyways. And just been waiting for the snow to melt and for the ice to leave the ponds. So, yeah, it's, uh, it's finally spring, I think, is safe to say now. So, 
glad uh, glad to be back out out in the woods uh, yeah you forget sometimes sometimes when you get away from something you forget you know how much uh, how much you enjoy it and how how important it is I'm getting a message on my uh, my satellite device from my wife there goose wants to play with the stick but yeah I'm just happy I got back out here you know I forget sometimes how uh, how important this is to me uh, it's almost like therapy in a way to be honest you know I, I forget about it sometimes when I when I go a few weeks without coming out but yeah now that I'm out here sitting by the fire uh, you know I don't I don't be lying remembering how uh, how much I love this kind of stuff so definitely looking forward to getting out on some more trips here soon like I said it's, it's that time of year now so I actually planned uh, plan to go in the canoe this weekend but uh, I kind of changed my mind on it at the last minute here so uh, the weather is not going to be great this weekend uh, it's going to be it's going to be cold. It's going to be like minus 5 tonight and tomorrow night. And tomorrow uh, in the daytime, it is supposed to be sunny, but uh, the temperature is only supposed to go up to like plus 3 or plus 4 degrees Celsius. So I decided to put the canoe trip off for another week. And uh, another thing is next weekend uh, is the opening weekend for trout fishing here in Newfoundland as well. So uh, I decided to wait until then to uh to put the canoe out and uh yeah next weekend i'll be i'll be heading out for a couple of nights in the canoe and uh and do some trout fishing so don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already so you don't miss out on that one so looking forward to uh to that already but yeah for uh for this weekend now i'm just uh, like i said i'm glad i got out for a couple of nights and it's going to be a relaxing weekend so I'm not sure what I'll do tomorrow yet like I said earlier I want to uh, I wanted to build a like a, a little bushcraft style camp or something I've been wanting to do that for a while and uh, that's what I sort of plan to do tomorrow but we'll see we'll see how it goes I'm not going to worry too much about it tonight I just want to just want to relax and enjoy fire enjoy the evening out here enjoy the peace and quiet and we'll see what tomorrow brings all right so i'm gonna get some food going here so uh i just brought some dehydrated chili for tonight so uh, i made a big batch of this moose chili a few weeks ago and uh, and put it in my dehydrator and i made up a bunch of meals for this camping season so i'm gonna have a meal of this for tonight uh, I brought a steak and some potatoes, but I think I'm gonna save that for tomorrow night. So I got all day out here tomorrow, and uh, I have plenty of time to cook that up. So just gonna keep it simple tonight. So just gotta boil up. Uh, I think it's about 700 milliliters of water, and bring that to a boil. Throw my chili in, and we'll have a nice meal of moose chili. So I lost one of the handles off my titanium pot here uh, a couple of trips ago. So that's a bit of a bummer, but this one still has the bale handle on it, so I could still use that for taking it on and off the fire.
All right, guys, so we're going to call the night here. Haven't been filming a whole lot, but uh, not a whole lot to see, really. We've just been relaxing here at camp. So I'm under the tarp here now, just watching the fire. And, yeah, that's about it. The dogs are still out uh, roaming around here, but pretty much uh, pitch dark out there now. So I'm going to get the dogs in here with me, and we'll call it a night. So we'll check in in the morning. Good morning. Well, uh, it's about 6.30 here now, so I was hoping to sleep in a little later, but one thing I learned about this spot is there's a lot of squirrels here. And Molly and Goose are not a big fan of squirrels, so that's their, uh, their arch enemy is the red squirrel, I think. So they've been up chasing squirrels pretty much since daylight. But yeah, other than that, uh, we had a pretty good night, a pretty quiet night. So, it's actually pretty comfortable uh, sleeping on this moss. So, I always bring uh, two, two sleeping pads. One for myself and one for the dogs to kind of share. But uh, anyways, last night, somehow, I ended up sandwiched between Molly and Goose. And they had uh, a sleeping pad each. And uh, somehow I ended up kind of down in a hole in the middle of the two dogs on the ground. So, But, like I said, this moss is nice and soft. So it was actually pretty comfortable, believe it or not. So it looks like a pretty nice morning out there. Uh, the sky's cleared overnight, and the uh, sun is just kind of coming up over the, the hill here out in front of camp. So, But it is cold. Uh, I believe the forecast said it was supposed to be minus 8 wind chill this morning. With a temperature like minus 4 or minus 5 or something like that, Celsius. So yeah, I'm just going to hang out in the sleeping bag for another little while. Then I'm going to get up, get that fire going, get some coffee on the go. And we'll make a plan for the day. You're next, Goose. You're next, bud. Molly's turn first. Well, just been hanging out by the fire, uh, sipping out of coffee. Had some breakfast here a little while ago. So yeah, just been uh, trying to decide what I'm gonna do for today. And I think I'm gonna stay here again tonight. So I thought about packing up and, uh, and doing some hiking and finding a new spot for tonight. But I got all my gear set up and not really in the mood to pack everything up again, so. I think I'm just going to stay here, but uh, the plan for today is going to be to try and make a little bit of a raised bed. So I'm going to move my tarp and I'm going to make, uh, I'm going to get started on like a little shelter with a raised bed right where my tarp is set up now. So there's two trees, one on either side of the tarp, and I'll use those two trees to, uh, to start off. And anyways, we'll see, we'll see how it turns out. I don't know if I'll get much of a shelter 
shelter built today but I uh, should be able to, to get a little bit of a raised bed made at least and if I have to put the tarp up over that again for tonight I can and then I can come back another time and, uh, and finish up the shelter so that's the plan so there's a ton of dead trees here this whole uh, this whole forest is just all uh, blown down like black spruce mostly so you can see all these deadfalls <clears throat> so I shouldn't have to cut any uh, any live trees at all I'll just clean up all these uh, fallen trees and use those to, uh, to build my shelter So just using my uh, Grants vs. Brooks small forest axe and my Agawa Canyon Boreal 21. So I'm using the 24 inch model all winter for winter camping but decided to bring out the smaller one this trip. I haven't used it in a while. So I definitely should have uh, brushed up on my knots before I came out here. So uh, I know there are some knots that would be, uh, be pretty useful to know how to tie when, uh, when you're lashing stuff like this. But I don't know them, so feel free to uh, leave a comment. Let me know which knots you guys would use for this kind of stuff if you've done it before. Yeah, I'm, uh, I'm far from an expert when it comes to knots, so we're just going to make this work now for tonight. So I just had a bunch of random pieces of paracord, different lengths that I had at home that I gathered up over, over the years, camping and stuff, so I just threw all that in my bag. And I also have a roll of smaller uh, bank line there that I'll use. I'm trying not to use uh, too much cordage. I just really need to tie these two pieces, this one and the one back here that are going to hold up my my long pieces for my bed. So I shouldn't need to use a whole lot of cordage. And I want to make this as simple as possible because I am going to take this down again uh, when I'm finished with it. Maybe later on in the summer or the fall when I'm done with it for a year, I'll take all this down and uh, clean everything up, put it all back to the way it was. And like I said, these are all dead trees anyways, so when I'm finished with it, I'll take it all apart and I'll just cut it up for firewood and stack it up here somewhere and then I can come back here and camp in my tent or uh, just come back for, for day trips and have a fire and that kind of thing. Another probably 15 or so of these and we'll be good to go. So I'm just going to make sure I get all these little uh, little pokies off so I don't poke through my, uh, my sleeping pad. I'm gonna try and get probably maybe six or eight more of these and that'll be good enough for the bed. 
try and make it wide enough for uh, for me and two dogs to get up here. Hey Goose. Yeah, should be good once I get some spruce boughs put up here, and then my uh, my sleeping pad should be nice and comfortable, and it's a nice seat as well. So. I may have to move the fire pit in a little closer, but we can do that later too. This is comfort. This is definitely going to be better than sleeping on the ground. So I may need to get a couple more, a uh, couple more sticks just to make it a little wider because it's just barely wide enough for the two air mattresses to fit on here. But yeah, this is going to be good. So I'm going to move my fire pit in just right here somewhere so it's closer and then I don't even know if I'm going to bother to uh, to put the tarp up tonight or not. I think it's supposed to be a clear night but uh, I don't know maybe I should. You never know when uh, a shower or rain or snow or something could move in but we'll see. I'll get an updated forecast on my uh, satellite device, my Zolio and uh, We'll decide that later. Yeah, I think I'm gonna move the fire pit in now and uh, boil up some water for a coffee, have a little snack, and then we'll figure out what we're gonna do from there. Goose, do you ever get tired? Do you ever get tired of chasing that stick? Here, drop it, drop. So the old fire was pretty much burned out anyways. So I just moved the fire pit up a little closer. So I've been on the lookout for some rocks to make a little fire pit here, but I just can't find anything. So I'll keep looking later. Maybe I'll find some uh, over that way. I haven't been out in this direction at all yet. So I'll have another look a little later. But for now I'm gonna have a little lunch and uh, just take a break for a bit. Still early, it's only uh, 11 o'clock, so still got all afternoon ahead of us. Didn't bring much for lunch on this trip. Just got some beef jerky and I uh, just had a protein bar. But uh, looking forward to that steak for, for supper for sure. Steak and potatoes. Anyways, I think after lunch, I'll, uh, I think I will put the tarp up just in case. I might as well. I got it all, all taken out anyways from last night. So I'll string the tarp up over me somehow. And the other thing I'm going to do is make a little bed down here for Molly. So I'm pretty certain she won't sleep up here. Uh, she's going to want to be down on the ground so she can get up and move around and stuff. 
Goose will probably sleep up here by me. Once he goes to sleep, he usually just stays put all night. So I'm thinking he'll sleep up here. I'm gonna cut a bunch of spruce boughs. Uh, there's a big spruce blowing down right over here with a ton of boughs on it. So I'm gonna collect off a bunch of those and I'll, uh, I'll put those down and then put Molly's wool blanket on top of the, on top of the boughs. And that'll be a spot for her for tonight. The goose is still going flat out here, chasing the stick. Looking for some beef jerky now. You didn't even eat your food this morning. Goose's food is still in the bowl here. Molly demolished hers, but Goose didn't eat his at all. All right, that's it. All gone. You gotta go eat your food. Alright guys, well, I haven't had the camera on for a while now, but uh, we've just been kind of relaxing most of the afternoon. I uh, caught a bunch more firewood and had the dogs for a little uh, little hike around the area, so we just got back to camp here. Goose is still, uh, still fetching, haven't stopped all day. Molly's just been kind of hanging out here by me on her blanket most of the afternoon just off to the side of the camera here now but yeah starting to get hungry so I'm gonna get some supper cooking Got a nice t-bone steak here to throw on the grill here shortly but I'm gonna get my potatoes going first so I uh, just done up these potatoes in some aluminum foil at home just put some butter and some spices in so I'm just gonna throw those down in the coals now I'll give those I don't know maybe half an hour or so cook I'll probably have a coffee while I'm waiting for the potatoes to cook and then we'll be getting the steak on to go so I'm looking forward to that for sure starving now watch out goose you blocking the camera bud so the wind really picked up this afternoon Gusting pretty strong here now at times, and I uh, just checked my uh, my weather app on my Zolio, and looks like it's going to be pretty gusty uh, northwest winds all night and again tomorrow. So could be a bit uh, a bit more of a breezy night than it was last night. Last night was uh, was dead calm for most of the night. It picked up a little bit in the morning, but for the most part, it was a pretty quiet night last night. So I'm loving this raised bed. Definitely way more comfortable than uh, sleeping right on the ground. And it's a nice little chair. 
and it also gives me a spot it's almost like a table it gives me somewhere to lay all my gear and stuff so definitely a nice setup so like I said earlier I'll, I'll be coming back here again for sure so I'm gonna leave the bed set up I'll take down the tarp and stuff obviously when I leave tomorrow but yeah I'll leave the, uh, the raised bed set up and uh, I may even do like a lean-to shelter like I was talked about earlier if I get time to come back and do that so we'll see how it goes but yeah just having the, the raised bed is nice like I said if I don't want to do the lean-to I can just uh, just throw the tarp up when I come out for a night and uh, should have a nice comfortable sleep on the raised bed well it looks like Goose found a new uh, new favorite hiding spot so I was wondering where he was, I couldn't find him. I was calling out to him and I even walked walked over there and was looking around everywhere for him. Thought he ran off. I should have known the difference though because he doesn't normally go too far at all. But yeah, here he is. <laughs> what are you doing under there, bud? You wanna sleep under the bed? You can get up on the bed, you know. <laughs> so he was up on the bed today for a little nap, but I'd say uh, I'd say tonight now when it gets dark he'll get back up on on the bed with me. Molly seems to be pretty content on her little bed here. She keeps messing off her blanket, but I'd say she'll spend the night there by the fire on guard as usual. Alright, well, I'm calling it done. Hopefully the potatoes are cooked. Oh yeah. They're done. Look at that. So some of the potatoes got a little charred, but it's gonna be good. What a feed. Woohoo! Ah. Oh man, been looking forward to this all day. Try some of the steak. Oh, oh man, that's good. 
Probably could have left the steak on a little bit longer, but it's still good. So I like my steak a little on the rare side anyway, so it's all good. So Molly's pretty interested in the steak. She's lying here just staring at me. I'll see if I can get you a piece after, Molly. Don't worry. Anyways, guys, just going to eat up the rest of this food. And we'll check back here in a bit. Ugh. Well, I'm just going to get this fire blazing again. So, I just finished up my supper. It was really good. Steak really hit the spot. So, yeah, I'm just going to pack away all the food stuff. I'm going to boil the kettle one more time. Have a cup of hot chocolate. Then I'm going to put all my, my food gear, my cooking gear away and just hike it out and uh, hang it up on a tree just away from camp a little ways. Just to be safe for the bears. The bears are on the move again now. So, yeah, that's going to be about it for today, guys. So, I'm going to just have a couple of hot chocolate lay by the fire on my bed here and... Uh, yeah, just watch the fire, do a bit of reading, and hopefully have an early night. So, that's the plan. Well, morning guys. So, it's just after six o'clock, but the squirrels are awake, so that means the dogs are awake. So anyways, I think we set up in a, a bit of a squirrel sanctuary here. I counted five squirrels this morning from my bed here, so just after daylight, they were up going, going all over the place, and then the dogs started chasing them. But yeah, it was a beautiful morning. It was cold though. Uh, it was a beautiful evening actually. So the skies were clear. The stars were just unreal. So yeah, beautiful evening. The wind actually did drop out after. But uh, it was a cold night. So definitely uh, a few degrees colder last night than it was on the first night. And uh I can remember waking up a few times last night, wishing I could get a, an extra couple of degrees out of my sleeping bag here, but anyways, it wasn't too bad. Pretty uh, pretty quiet night. But yeah, the sun is just starting to, uh, to peak up over the hill through the trees here, back behind the camera. So anyways, uh, just going to hang out in the sleeping bag for a little bit. And uh, try and get the nerve up to uh, to get out and get the fire going here soon.
Well, coffee is uh, hitting the spot here this morning. Hey, Goose. What do you want? All right. <laughs> Anyways, guys, if you're still uh, if you're still here, thanks for following along on the video. So it was uh, a great little uh, weekend trip here. Great to get out in the woods for a couple nights again. So. Looking forward to uh, getting some more trips in here soon. So, hoping to get back out here for uh, for another night or two soon, actually. So, like I said yesterday, I'm gonna leave the uh, leave the bed all uh, like it is now. Uh, and when I come back, I'm not sure if I'll do the lean-to uh, roof like I talked about, or if I'll just uh, keep taking my tarp with me. Uh, it's only uh, a couple of minutes to throw the tarp up, so anyways, we'll see, but uh, yeah, it's good to have a little spot like this that I can just come back to and uh, pop out for a quick uh, overnight trip or whatever, come out and uh, cook up some food and spend the night out in the woods, so hoping to get back out here soon. But I'm thinking the next uh, the next video most likely on the channel here is going to be a canoe trip video. So I'm hoping next weekend to get out for a couple of nights. Uh, so during the winter I was uh, I was keeping my eye open for an old secondhand uh, canoe, something I could pick up fairly cheap. So a couple of weeks ago, I managed to track one down. So I picked up an old 15-foot uh, uh, Scott canoe, and uh, yeah, she's uh, she's in a bit of rough shape, but uh, not too bad overall. She she doesn't have any uh, any major leaks or anything. But anyways, the uh, the idea for that canoe is going to be uh, I'm going to haul it uh, back into some ponds in the area here uh, I don't know exactly where I'm gonna go yet but I got a couple of places in mind so yeah I'm gonna haul that canoe out in the woods and uh, I'll be able to leave that canoe out there I'll just stash it in the woods somewhere and that way whenever I want to head out for some trout fishing or out for a, a quick uh, a quick camping trip or whatever uh, I won't have to haul my good canoe out and do all the portages and then bring it back with me again and stuff. I'll be able to leave that old canoe out in the woods and not have to worry too much about it. So, so that's going to be the plan, I think, for my next video. So uh, I'll probably just take Goose with me on that one. Molly will probably sit that one out because uh, that older canoe is, uh, is quite a bit smaller than my my canoe that you guys normally see me use here on the channel so I think it'll be a bit uh, a bit sketchy with the two dogs and my gear and stuff so yeah goose and I are gonna head out and uh, spend a couple of nights out in the woods somewhere do some canoeing and some trout fishing so I'm hoping to do that trip next but we'll see how it goes but anyways I'm gonna I'm gonna call this one uh, call this one a trip and uh, just gonna finish up my coffee pack up my gear I'll take my tarp down and stuff and yeah it's gonna do it for this one but just want to say thanks to everyone for uh, following along don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you want to check out some more of my videos hoping to have uh, plenty more content coming here as we head into uh, summer and stuff so yeah thanks again guys and we'll see you on the next one